Meet Caspar at sea, a humanoid robot turning his pace for the big race. Led by robotics engineers, he's been out on the road for testing. Our robot for this marathon is Caspot SE, right here beside me. He is about 1.6 meters tall and weighs around 40 kilograms. His design is very human-like, especially his long legs. His gait is one of our signature features, and he can walk at speeds of up to 5 kilometers per hour. To prepare for the long-distance challenge, the team made some key upgrades. We never run tests over such a long distance in the lab, so we equipped him with a quick swap battery system to ensure he has the stamina to finish the race. It's not just Caspot SC, another model named the Caspot No. 1, which just came out last November, is hiding for large-scale production. Compared to the SE, Caspot 1 has more agile upper limbs and is capable of voice interaction. It's designed for industrial use, where it can handle simple, repetitive tasks. China's robotics industry has seen rapid growth over the past two years, fueled by technologies like 5G and advanced AI. A recent report released at the China Humanoid Robot Industry Conference predicts that China's humanoid robot market will soon reach 8.2 billion yuan, or over 1.1 billion U.S. dollars, accounting for half of the global share. Ms. Zhang, the company's COO, is optimistic about the market's momentum. The pace of development is incredibly fast and we are seeing a flourishing ecosystem. Every company is leveraging their accumulated expertise and exploring commercial applications in different scenarios. But as a burgeoning sector, humanoid robotics still faces key technical challenges. Wang says stability is the next thing to overcome. Robotics is still a young industry, and many things are just getting off the ground. Hardware stability is still a challenge. Our control units and motors are developed in-house, so we often encounter hardware issues. On the software side, we need to keep training our models to enhance stability. A marathon for robots offers an arena for innovators to showcase their developments and also a window for the public to know more about our human-like friends. For us, one immediate benefit is visibility. We've had many potential partners who were previously unfamiliar with humanoid or embodied robots reach out to us to collaborate. The exposure draws attention to our field opening doors for new opportunities while also raising the bar for our technology and products. And with that spotlight comes responsibility. As Zhang puts it, the goal is to create smarter, more accessible robots, ones that can truly serve in everyday environments from factories to communities. Chen Shui Di, CGTN.